What's up, guys? Where are you like way behind me, man? <laughs> you want to do a little video intro? So, so what's up, guys? We are back with another live video, and we already have a bunch of people on. You think so? Well, we are back with another live video, and y'all might know it is December, and today is Christmas. So what do you tell everybody? Merry Christmas to all of y'all watching. That's right. Houston and I are just sitting around by the patio. As you can see, we got a, got a fire going. We've got one more Christmas dinner to go today. And uh, it's here at our to house. Go. We have one more to go. Like, as in, we've been to several Christmas dinners. Yeah, but we're not going to our own house when we're already no. at the house. <laughs> That's right. We have one more to go, as in one more hey guys, to finish out guys, the Christmas. Before we get to everything, we want. I want to show you what I got for Christmas. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Houston got a couple Christmas presents he's excited about. So our last Christmas um, event, I guess you'd say, is going to be here at our house with my wife's mom and dad and sister and some good friends of ours. Jacoby will be here in a little while. They got they know Jacoby, don't they? Yeah. yeah. But I'll show you what I what are we doing got. Here? Oh, look who showed up. Yay! You gonna look let mom I... sit down? Yeah. Look I'm what I got. Now. I got AirPods. Well, you got some AirPods. They're not Apple AirPods. They're <laughs> they're just AirPods. O N N AirPods. We don't know what brand that is, but you got some, huh? And I got this. This gun. is what Houston's most excited about, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I I kind of titled this video fully automatic ar-15 because that's ex exactly what this is houston got a fully automatic ar-15 for christmas hang on we'll get to one thing at a time but it's a bb gun this is the coolest bb gun i've, I've ever, ever seen. seen i mean it looks legit as in a real ar-15 it has semi-automatic and it has full automatic it's not loaded oh we're out of bbs aren't we yeah so go get some BBs and we'll uh, at least test fire it for them. Somebody ought to make sure we had some BBs in there. Get some BBs off the porch. So we'll, we'll, we'll show you guys that in a minute. I don't want to smell like smoke. Mom don't want to smell like smoke. It's Christmas. So we had an awesome Christmas. The last few days has been uh, crazy busy. But you guys, if you saw our last video, we went down to Lake Texoma, just rented a lake house and just, just hung out with some friends. I'm sorry, with some family, not friends. Um, all of all of my wife's family, her mom's family. Just put a little, few, few little BBs in here while we're while we're waiting. I didn't realize it was completely empty, Houston. And uh, just hung out at the lake. We didn't get to catch any fish. Like that well, was kind Jesse of disappointing. Well, Jesse caught one, and then we went to the lake, well, where the dam was, where it flooded, and yeah. we caught two tiny catfish. They were about that long. Really bad. We were hoping for a catch, clean, and cook video while we were gone. That didn't happen, did it? Nah. Lake Texoma is known for stripers. It's got just millions of big stripers, striped bass in that lake. And uh, we were hoping we'd catch a few, but it wasn't really a fishing trip. We were just going to hang out. That no is. stripers were caught. No. So no catch, clean, and cook. Can I tell them what you got? Now? Not yet. Not yet. Why? <laughs> Got a few BBs loaded in the in the AR, so it'll here. do semi-automatic. Here, let me show them. It'll do semi-automatic. It's got a red hot sight. Mm. Move, bear. Now bear's in the way. <laughs> Let's see if it'll shoot now. Oh, you're almost out of air. Dang, Houston. Here, no, let me do this. So, no, I don't, it won't it. shoot fully automatic right now, probably. No, Oh, it did. It did. See that? <laughs> oh, that is pretty cool right there, Houston. Okay, so that this... is by far the coolest BB gun I've ever seen. I think. Yeah. Okay. So let me show you what my dad got from Olight. Houston is very jealous <laughs> right now. We want we want to give a shout out to Olight because look what he sent my dad. Olight's not a he. Olight's a company. But they sent us, not, yeah. not us, they sent me a Christmas present. It says, Happy New Year 2020, Olight Friendship. But check this out. It's a custom Olight flashlight. You guys know we've done several Olight videos. Um... But, you know, they sponsored several videos. We've worked with them for, I don't know, last six months or so. It's a titanium color. With it has a name blue. on it. Let me see if I can find it. So, it says Friendship 2020, and then it actually has my name, 
engraved in blue on there. So pretty cool. Awesome of Olot to, to think about their YouTube partners like that. I don't know if old Dutch got one or not. He was kind of jealous, but so they sent us a flashlight. And uh, yeah, Christmas was, was great for us. It's still Christmas. I shouldn't say was. It's been it's been fun. Hasn't oh it? yeah, look what else I got. I got a smart watch. Yeah. Not an Apple watch. Smart watch. Just a smart watch. Houston has like, for his birthday last year, was dead set on getting a watch. And for a seven year old, we thought, yeah, he's probably gonna lose it in the first couple weeks. Was it last, was it your birthday or Christmas last year? Christmas last year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a year ago, mm -hmm. so he's kept. He wears a watch every single day. Like he is. I never take it on off. On the ball, so he's worn it and not lost his other watch for almost for a full year. And this year he wanted to upgrade, so he asked Santa Claus for a smart watch. Well, I said an Apple watch, yeah. but he got me a smart watch. Well, he wanted an Apple watch, but I said, buddy, you, that's a very expensive watch. I don't think you need one. You're not connected to an iPhone and all that stuff. But so he got I him a new watch. Yeah. You're connected and to your iPad, though, right? No, my iPod. It has Her the iPod. app on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, so a couple Christmas presents, and we just want to jump on here and do a live video for a little while, chat with you guys, and just share our, our Christmas with you all. And Okay, can we, can we start reading some? You want to read some comments? Yeah. Okay, we'll read a couple comments. Let's see. Someone said, man, I wish I had a BB gum like that when I was a kid. <laughs> Me too, man. I had a, I had probably like everybody else, we had pump action BB guns. You, you put one BB in it and you pump it up about 10 times. Now it shoots, probably shot harder than what Houston's BB gun does, but a fully automatic BB gun, you could have, we could have murdered some old cans, like line up all the Coke cans on the log instead of shooting them one at a time. You just brrr, blast them all, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in our last video, we posted about Christmas and on our trip and stuff. We had Emily reading the Christmas story out of the Bible, and it seemed like everyone absolutely loved that. That's something that's uh, that was really. It was just an idea I thought of that day. I said, "Hey, why don't we?" I pulled Emily aside and said, "Why don't you read the Christmas story out of the Bible?" Because she got saved and then she got baptized. What? She got saved at church camp last summer, this summer. and she got baptized a couple of weeks ago. And we shared that, talked about that, and. There were several people that wrote her cards and very encouraging letters and emails and things. So I thought, well, Emily, it'd be great for her to have a chance to read the Christmas story to the whole family. That was pretty cool, though, wouldn't it? Did you like that? Kind of made me cry. I was glad I was behind the camera. I teared up a little bit. I Did said, hello, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hello, Houston. Let's see. Russell said, just bought land in Antlers, the deer capital of the world. Antlers, Oklahoma is a... Big deer hunting spot, man. There is some monster deer over in Antlers in the in the mountains over there. So that ought to be a cool place. Hey, I can shoot my first deer over there. They're from Germany. Oh, so, Heidi said, I wish I could get an Apple Watch. You get better presents than me, and I'm 38 years old. Well, it's not an Apple Watch. It, it looks like one, but it's just a an off-brand smart, smart watch. You can buy them on Amazon, I think, similar to it. Let's see. What else? What do you oh, want to yeah. talk about, Houston? Look. Oh, dang. What do you want to talk about? Everyone keeps asking what your favorite know. gift was. What was your favorite gift, Houston? Probably either my AirPods or my gun. Okay. Yep. I don't understand the AirPods thing, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a phone. You don't have a phone. I have an iPad. An iPad, and you can listen to music that way. Yep. So... Anyways, Christmas um, for us, like we said in the, in the last video, it's we, we try to make a, a family event out of it, some kind of trip, do something together as a group. And it's it's uh, four years now, I guess, that my wife's mom and her and us and her brother and sister and all that get together and just have a great time. I mean, it's not about the gifts there. It's just we do like a, a, a gift exchange. We draw names. Everybody gets one gift on that deal and it's just so much fun to spend a few days with with family hang on hang on hang, hang on. on we gotta give bear some love and bear wants to be on the video there you go <laughs> every time what were you gonna say mom someone asked me what i was gonna cook for supper do you oh. know what i'm cooking for supper no what casserole well kind of a casserole lasagna mom's making lasagna I made lasagna not out of the not out of a box 
What else? Let's see. Anybody got any questions? Dog, dog. No, look. Uh, Camo Country said, I love y'all's new merch. Gonna have to get me some, um, give me some new look, merch. Dog, so yeah, dog, we've got, dog, dog. Uh, we got new hats. If you haven't seen those, Arms Family Homestead on a leather patch. And a new logo t-shirt. This was the old These one. The old one. Um, we got one that says Donkey Poodle Ranch for the alpacas. And Goat Pro for yep. the goats. So go check that at armsfamilyhomestead.com. Let's see. Someone said, what did you get, Daniel? No, not a whole lot. I got a French press for making coffee. That was one thing I asked for. I got a gift certificate to get my windows tinted on my truck. From me. From Houston. And some cologne. Yeah. Yeah. What'd mom get? Oh, mom got the most expensive Christmas present out of everybody, I think. I don't think so. It shouldn't have been. I think <laughs> I was the one that got the most because I got AirPods, I got that gun, hey. and I got that. Hey. Um, my light. I got a light. A photography light. That's what I got. That's what I wanted. Yeah, she she uh, it was one of those things. She knew exactly what she wanted. So Emily and I snuck in and prowled around on her computer and figured out exactly which one it was. And then I think you even texted it to Emily. I don't even know what it is. It's a flash. It's a fancy flash because she's a photographer and does everything outdoors and her flash in the studio is not portable. So we bought the same thing in a battery powered version, basically, if that makes sense. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Yellow. Yellow. Someone said the goats have any babies yet. No nope. baby goats yet. But, but soon. We will have baby goats probably so far, mid start. to late January. So we're still a couple weeks away from that. Someone said, can we see the gun? Houston's, Houston's BB gun. It's not a real AR-15. But I'm telling you what, it looks like it. We got this. Or not this one, I guess, but... Uh, you can buy these at like Dick Sporting Goods or Academy or Amazon, lots of places, but it's a Bushmaster. I mean, it looks legit. Please put those away. Mm -hmm. It looks like a legit AR, but it's a BB gun. But I'm telling you what, I could play with it all day. We're probably low on CO2 right now, huh, Houston? Yeah. We've done four or six. Huh? Have we done four or six of the air? Oh, I think we. it takes two of the little CO2 canisters at a time, and I think we've yeah. gone through six of them so far. Yeah. So. We've we done a lot of shooting this down. afternoon, huh? <laughs> I think we should slow down I think Houston's bit. probably shot about 500 BBs through it so far. Uh, someone said, do y'all ever do any quail or dove hunting? Well, we do a little bit of dove hunting. Not a lot. We don't have too many dove around here. Um, but quail, no. I... We have zero quail in our area. If you get out towards western Oklahoma, north, northwestern Oklahoma, there's quite a few quail out there. But the quail numbers in Oklahoma aren't what they used to be. And uh, they've made a comeback out there in western Oklahoma. But here, they're just almost non-existent. So, Houston, someone said, uh, Santa Claus didn't bring you your front teeth. On your last video, you said all you want for Christmas is your two front teeth. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. <laughs> my two front teeth. So, anywho, on to something else. Anywho. Uh, how was Bean Boozled? So, Bean Boozled's the... the um, Weird version. What's it called? What are they called? Jelly Beans. It's a jelly yeah. bean game where there's... You, you spin, the, spin the little thing around... And, and there's two options. You either get one that tastes really good or really bad, but they look exactly the same, so you don't know. Um, it's terrible. I hate it. That game is just miserable. The only kinds that I like the most is coconut and toothpaste Ugh. and blue raspberry. Toothpaste. All right. Toothpaste. Hello from Georgia. Oh Let's see. Ray Barnes said, hello from Georgia, Houston. What did Emily get for Christmas? Emily got a TV for her bedroom. This is not fair. Huh? She got a TV. <laughs> well, you don't go in your room half the time. That's the problem. Emily got a TV for her bedroom. She got um, a little small printer that plugs into your iPhone to print out little Kodak-looking pictures. Bear, go away, buddy. And I think she got some AirPods. She got Apple AirPods. She got the real deal, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, working on, working all the time on the farm. Should have asked for a spa day or a weekend. I did one that makes you feel ready for anything. Um, 
Sorry, guys. I'm trying to read a few comments as they scroll by. The dogs are just going crazy around here. They want to be on camera. What'd the oldest son get? Weston got... What all did Weston get for Christmas? He got a bunch of stuff for his truck, like seat covers and a steering wheel cover and um, floor mats, a bunch of clothes. He's a teenager. He loves hoodies, so he got clothes. And What else did he get? I can't remember. Yeah, neither can I. Mostly clothes. Yeah. Shoes. All right, let's see. Someone want to know if we were on Live PD. No, I am not on Live PD. Oklahoma Highway Patrol has been on Live PD for a long time. Bella, go. Bear, go. Uh, there's been quite a few troopers that were on Live PD, but no, I, I live in such a rural area. Most of that's done in Oklahoma City and Tulsa, big urban area type stuff, and nah, that's not for me. All right, Pinky's Adventure says, how's the garden going? I've expanded mine this year. Well, I guess you, I guess it's going okay. The greenhouse is, uh, look at this. Look at this. I got dogs, dog problems. I wish you guys would go somewhere else. Well, the greenhouse is doing good. We've got a lot of greens, a lot of winter greens in there growing throughout. That'll grow most of the winter. Uh, spinach, kale, bok choy, bless you. It's all doing pretty well. Um, but we got a got a Christmas card in the mail from Luke over at MI Gardener. Guess you guys have he probably said. heard heard of Luke. Obviously, he's got about a half a million subscribers now. I think Luke uh, has a YouTube channel and a website and sells seeds. And he challenged Houston for 2020. He made a big challenge for Houston. What was it? Who's gonna get the biggest watermelon? And it's gonna be me. Luke wants to start a watermelon growing challenge. So last year Houston competed with Leon. With Leon and beat Leon by like what, a pound? Yeah. Maybe. Um, so maybe we'll well maybe we can put something together and do a little online watermelon growing contest and put it I don't know. Maybe we'll come up with something. We got a few months before that comes up. All right, somebody said something about another. Make a shirt of bear saying, uh, you're bearable. Oh, <laughs> Say I it's, get it. It's I unbearable it. being this awesome. Somebody's here. I think our family's starting to show up for our Christmas dinner this evening. Yep. It's Jamie and Jacoby. Jamie and Jacoby are here. Maybe actually just Katie. Oh, never mind. Jacoby's not here yet. Emily's here with Katie. Bummer. I thought Jacoby was here. We're going to get him on the live video. <laughs> All right, let's see. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to read through a few comments. Someone said, what about a milk cow? I guess, so we get questions all the time if we um, would, would get a milk cow or dairy goats and milk goats. And that just isn't feasible for us because I do, I don't, I'm not at home all the time. I, I work different schedules. So I, sometimes I work in the morning. Sometimes I work in the evening. My wife's busy with all the kids stuff and having dairy animals is a huge commitment. So you're gonna have to milk morning and evening and it's just not feasible for us. I wish there was a way, uh, I mean, could we possibly make it work? Yeah, but it would be tough. Did you bring a gallon of tea? Yeah, sure did. Let's get this bread. A gallon of tea and some garlic toast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why couldn't we have just made tea here? Oh, you're we're live? live? Yeah, we're live, Katie. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I actually look good. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, d the dairy operation stuff isn't for us. Mm -hmm. I just don't have the time that I feel like that would take to dedicate to it every morning and every evening. But it would be fun. It would be neat, a neat adventure. Why do you have your back to the camera, buddy? Because I'm trying to warm up. <laughs> Are you cold? Yeah. Let's see. Um, someone said, when are you going to process the cow? Talking about Big Mac. I don't know. So, it's gonna be wild. Big Mac's still got a little ways to go. And, and a lot of people, that's become a uh, interesting topic on our channel. Bella, go. Go away. You're banging on the tripod here. Go away. Um, Big Mac's become an interesting topic because we've started showing him quite a bit more because he's become so friendly and he's he's actually not, it's hard to believe he's even a cow. He's kind of become more like a dog. He's like a pet. But 
We are absolutely 100% going to, we're, but we're going to butcher Big Mac. He will go in the it'll, freezer. It'll be, in a, it'll be a while until we butcher him. Yeah. Because we still have that one whole cow. We still have Crazy one in the ass. freezer. Yeah. Crazy ass. But the dead. plan for Big Mac, though, is, you know, we, we got him as a weaned uh, bottle baby. Some other friends of ours had him, and they raised him on a bottle, and their kids decided there was just no way they would be able to eat. Bella, quit panting. They, they would be able to eat a calf that they raised on a bottle, so we bought them, or we, we bought Big Mac off of them, and we're raising him here, feeding him out, and so many people are saying, you've got to keep him as a pet. He's too big a part of the channel, or, you know, how, how much, we'd love to buy Big Mac because he's I, such I, a nice I, cow. I, I always try to get him to not butcher him, but he won't let me. <laughs> so here's the thing. Big Mac eats about a five gallon bucket of feed every day and it's just not feasible to keep a cow that like that matter? he's a steer so he he's not uh, able to breed anymore he's been he's been uh he's been cut so he's not a bull he's not a female so we can't breed him and have babies his intended purpose is to live his best life possible in the best way possible and and then until he gets big enough to go in the freezer and then we'll probably just have him processed and split in between several family members because we really don't need all that meat in the freezer right now. But it'll probably be several more months. Big Mac's probably gonna be, I wanna try to get him close to a thousand pounds. He is uh, probably right at a year old now. I don't know exactly when he was born, but he's still got a few more months to go to get up there to that thousand pound mark. What do you think? Is the smoke burning your eyes? Yeah. I can tell. Look who else showed up. Who? This doesn't happen very often. Callie showed up. Oh. Callie is our, she's our Great Pyrenees, she's who's about um, 12 or 13 years old. We've talked about her a few times. She was our first livestock guardian. And Bear was kind of her replacement when she started getting old. And I just didn't feel like she was able to, uh, to do the job on her own anymore. So we got Bear, who thinks he's a house dog and a lap dog, but we wanted to make sure we had a next up and coming livestock guardian after Callie was too old to do the job and we got Bear. And I I made the plan or kind of made the made the call to get another livestock guardian a couple years ahead of time so Bear would be be uh, big enough to handle everything by the time we lose Callie. And she's actually lived a lot longer than I expected her to. Yeah. Great Pyrenees usually don't live that many years. 12, 15 year old, years old is very, very old for her. Bear, go on. For a dog, you mean. Yeah, well, for a big dog like her. Someone said, do we get any snow here? It does snow, but it's usually like About maybe, half an inch. Maybe twice, three times a year at the most, and it lasts for a day or two, and it's gone. So we don't get much snow. It goes about that feet deep. That, that many feet deep, huh? Well, let's see. Lord. Let's answer a couple more questions. We're probably going to get off of here pretty soon. Um, it's starting to get dark, and we need to get in the house and help Mom get things ready for, for dinner. Houston, someone said, hello from Florida. Merry Christmas. What's your name, guys? What's your name? <laughs> well, let's know. see. I'll go back up. Oh, too many comments. I lost it. It went way up. Okay. Someone said, was Bear trained? Ne Bear never was never sent out for any kind of formal training. It was just all here on the farm. Um, Bear's half Anatolian Shepherd. And Anatolian shepherds are are historically known as livestock guardians, so it's kind of bred into them. But he was raised, he was born, Emily, if you're going to get in here, lower yourself. He was born at, in a goat barn and was raised around baby goats his whole life. Oh, and it's just kind of his instinct. Now, I do, I have trained him, you know, as far as just normal obedience stuff here on my own. But you know, some days he minds and some days he doesn't, so... Anyhow, let's see. Um, Houston, uh, this guy says, Merry Christmas from Australia, mate. They're watching from Australia. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Merry Christmas from the Matson. Oh, these comments just disappeared on me. From Matson's Outdoors. Hope you guys can check us out. Your oldest is our age, Houston. What? Hang on, I might have misread that. 
Um, someone said, is Houston getting a new fish pond? Not in the wintertime. Maybe back, maybe in the spring we'll work something out to get Houston a little bit bigger fish pond to raise some fish in, but we'll see. I don't know. But it'll be... It'll probably be in the back. It'll be... Probably someone else said hello from uh, Germany. How many hours is that? Uh, a lot. It's a long ways from Germany, bud. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap this up. I just wanted to get on and, and uh, say Merry Christmas to you all. Show you Houston's Christmas present. He was very excited. Wanted to show you guys. He wanted to do a video all afternoon about his new AR-15 BB gun that he got. That's fully automatic. I mean, that's cool. But anyways, we just wanted to stop and say Merry Christmas, guys. We hope you uh, had an awesome, awesome Christmas with your family. And we hope you all remember that uh, Jesus is the reason for the season. And Christ dying on the cross and Christ being born first on Christmas and then dying on the cross is why we're why we're able to be here and do all the things we do and we just hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I guess Houston's gonna run off and leave. Are you gonna come back and end the video? Where are you going, buddy? You wanna wrap this thing up for us? Yeah. We're losing light quickly. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next video. Bye!